Okay, so I just made some roasted red pepper hummus in my cooking blender, and it is delicious. So this is great. The problem is that's the inside of the blender right now. So needless to say, I would not be looking forward to washing this, but luckily the Pampered Chef cooking blender actually washes itself believe it or not. So we're gonna test this out here. It calls for th three cups of water. So I need to put a little bit more water in. You guys probably can't see the marker on the side there, but I can. So three cups of water, and then it says just a drop or two of liquid soap. So I'm just gonna put that much in. And naturally we need to put the lid on and secure it. Move this out here a little bit. Kind of locks in place there, right? So I'm going to flip it on and close my dishwasher. Okay, so we need to put it on the heated wash setting, which is right there. There we go, and then you just push it in. It's gonna get loud, just so you know. Now, when you see those little tracer lights, that means the unit is heating up. So this blender doesn't just blend, it's actually got a cooking element inside. So you can make soups. I made jam this morning, some fresh strawberry preserves in here and I put a little less sugar than you might get at the supermarket. So I could kind of customize it a little bit to my liking. Um, and I used the washing uh, element to wash it. So now I made some hummus, which doesn't require the cooking aspect of it. You just throw in a can of chickpeas, a can of great Northern beans. I put some roasted red peppers in it, um, a little bit of olive oil, a clove of garlic and some seasoning salt. Just threw it all in there and turned it on the grind setting and it you just basically set it and forget it it grinds it and knows when to stop and everything so uh however when you make these lovely recipes they're delicious but this blender gets really dirty <laughs> so i'm so happy it's got this heated wash cycle on it because if I wasn't making this video right now, I'd be in the other room watching TV. And when I'd come back, it would just be filled with sudsy water, which I would just rinse out and be done. Wipe it out and I'd be done. But for the purposes of the video, to show you how well it cleans, I wanted to stick around. I believe it's gonna get up to 140 is the temperature that the cooking element is going to get in order to clean. So it'll just be another minute or two. But this uh, cooking blender, uh, not only makes smoothies and your basic blending things, of course, but it cooks, like I said. So I have made cauliflower soup in here. It blends the cauliflower, then cooks it, and it has a preset setting on here. Again, I just threw everything in and, and walked away. Blades are going to be clean as it was 
By the way, this is nice, heavy glass. So let's let's take a peek. I'm going to turn this off. So um, we'll start with this. You get to see the inside of my sink here, and this is really pretty clean. I mean, a rinse, and it's really pretty good. Now, like I say, on this corner, I'm going to need to wipe that off, but I should have done that before I started. Uh, let's take a look at this big guy. It's a little bit kind of a heavy deal here. But um, I'm hoping I'm getting a good angle here. But I'm going to just rinse it in here real quickly. Now, what I want you to see is down in there, it is very, very clean. So at this point, besides a little wiping around the rim, I'm done. This doesn't really require much more than a rinse. No scrubbing, um, no getting my hands down in those super sharp blades. I think I can get this corner cleaned off here. When there's anything on the outside, obviously it's not going to be able to clean it. But I'll just set this back in here so you can kind of see. And the lid. Everything's relatively clean. Now, I'll probably go in there and dry it. But, uh... When it says it cleans itself, it's not lying. 